Yeah, so it's all good. I mean, girl, that's a, that's no joke. And then they brought you back again. Yes. And it could have it should have been the redemption moment. Oh God. But instead, it was just another dose a full force country that was going on and I don't yes. mean country music. No. <laughs> it, it was I don't think anyone liked All Stars. I don't think like I don't think the producers, the audience, the girls like no one. Right. Chad Michaels is the only one who liked All Stars <laughs> cuz that check got cashed and cleared, honey. But um yeah, it, it was it was uh, it was difficult and it was we were all like cuz we all knew it was only 6 episodes. Right. And uh and um, we started, the girls were coming in the room and we're like doing the math and we're like, well, this ain't gonna play out right. <laughs> Wait this a minute. Gonna, this ain't gonna play out. And, and I, was, I was picked very late in the process. None, all the girls, they kind of talking. And so people the, inside of our little circle, we knew who was going on the show. Right. And I kept it really hush. In fact, uh, funny story, Latrice Royale was supposed to be at my club. I booked her. She was gonna be there on the Wednesday before. And uh, the week before she got a phone call She's like, girl, I can't. I'm going and doing this thing. You know, I'm sure you understand. And um, I can't do it. And I saw her the following Monday at the New York City finale for season four. And she was like just so apologetic. And I got the phone call that day. Wow. And so I was just, I just was like, well, you go and represent for all the big <laughs> girls. I'm so proud of you. And I just like laid it on her really thick. And I was like, of course, I'm really sad you can't be at the club. We had a lot of people were counting on you and to come and really it on her. But, but you need to go do it for the big girls. I know you're the only big girl who's cast <laughs> yeah. on the show. So go do it. And I, when I walked <laughs> in the workroom, and you see it, they show the moment where she flips out. But none of those girls knew I was coming. Oh, and then y'all got there and all thought it was going to be your solo moment. And mm -hmm. it was duos. The duos of death. It was, and, and, and I have to say, I think Pandora and I actually, I'm sorry, but I loved our pictures that we did. Like, they made us do these yeah, picture yeah, challenges. Remember. First of all, we were like, we show up at All Stars, and like, on a regular season, the photo shoot is a mini challenge, and we show up, and that's the challenge. We're like, y'all are out of ideas. What's going on today? <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I like, I thought Pandora and actually came together, and it's, it's, it is what it is, but. Right, it is what it is. Are you still like have a voodoo doll of Pandora in your house? Like just no, 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 no. Pandora and I are fine, and it's yeah. funny, you know. It's and and and, let, and thank God we had that drama because otherwise I don't know what else was going to be on <laughs> All Stars, you know. Um, but um, yeah, it, Pandora. I think everybody was just unhappy with the situation because everybody kind of everybody wanted their redemption moment. Yeah, and to have, to have that be on somebody else. That's a lot, and you start think overthinking things. And yeah. like I said, there's nothing realistic about the situation of filming RuPaul's Drag Race. It's just not how we function in the world. You know, if somebody said, "I need you to do this for a gig," well, you'd call people and be like, "Are right, you, you, you know, you do this, you do this, you, do this, you, do this, you build that, that's I'll how, get it together." But that's how, like RuPaul. Ain't making her own wigs and dresses, right. girl. Yes, she's not. She sure as hell's not. She's but she that's she is smart enough to know why would I do something mediocre when I have access to the best people and that look that like uh, you know a lot of uh, big people in business that's what they do that's how they build their businesses yeah. they find the best people to sell their product for them they're not out there selling coke and pepsi someone else is doing that for them mm -hmm. so um you know that's the that's the problem with drag race you're in this world and all of a sudden you got to make stuff and you can't go to the store to buy the material it's like well what the <laughs> right. hell do you expect right well one thing i really i really admire about you is is your perseverance and that well, after all this happened, you got shaded twice by Drag Race. You got a lot of shit from all the people, but you still kept going out there. You started sure. DJing. You were performing all over the place. You were there doing it, regardless of people trying to hold you down. You know what it is? It's the New York thing. It's like, and I and you can attest to this, yeah. and, and I'm sure Adam can as well, that in New York, you have to do whatever you can to pay your rent. Mm -hmm. And if someone says, I need to do this, you say, well, I'm going to learn how to do that. I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, and uh, pay my bills. And it's like, you got to keep, you have to keep going, because there's always going to be somebody who's hungrier or younger or prettier or more talented doing the same thing you're doing. So you just got to keep working. You got to keep at it. And, uh, you know, it keeps me entertained. It keeps yeah. me going. I, I love that. So.